crowds in pro football. Terry Hanrat, he says, come on, Terry, have that big day for us. Mike Collier and Mel Blunt and Dave Brown are going back to spread out to receive the kickoff. Ray Guy will kick it off. He gets good distance. Last year in the finals, Pittsburgh was trailing 10 to 3 going into the fourth for, uh, period. They erupted and defeated the Raiders and went on to the Super Bowl. All right, I'm ready. How about you, D-Rose? I'm ready. All right. I hope they're ready. This is truly the home of the brave here today. It is. It is chilly. 20 mile an hour wind. At the back of Ray Guy. Although the wind swirls and cross turns sometimes. The kick is coming short. Collier's coming up to handle it on the 14, 20, 25. And it's down on the 28 yard line. A loose ball, but the whistle had already blown. And it's Jesse Phillips, number 35, downfield. First down. That was blunt on the ball, but it already blown dead. Bradshaw, the quarterback, number 12. Frank O'Harris, he's the big man that Oakland has to stop. They couldn't stop him last year. Number 32, Rocky Blyer is number 20. The wide receivers, Frank Lewis, 43. Lynn Swan, 88, the tight end. Larry Brown, 87. There's the offensive line. Pittsburgh's 28-yard line, first down. Flyer oh. stopped for no gain and maybe a loss. And in there is number 58, Monty Johnson. A three-man front for Oakland. Sistruck, number 60. Tom's in the middle, number 80. Horace Jones on the right side, 82. Four linebackers, Villapiano, 41. Johnson inside, 58. Irons inside, 86. And Ted Hendricks, 83. A rookie, 45. Colsey in the right corner. Thomas, 26 in the left corner. Atkinson and Tatum are the safety men. Second down, 10. Oh, Look at boy. that charge and drop. What a charge by Villafiano. Franco Harris is hit. And so far, the Raiders in two plays have stormed in to stop the Steeler running game. This is going to be the kind of thing you might expect all afternoon, particularly from those two outside linebackers. Ted Hendricks, right side. Villapiano now leaving the field on the left side. All right, they're going to get a prevent in there now. Third down. 14. Third and 14 for the Steelers. Bradshaw pass. It is complete. Very close to a first down to Larry Brown, the tight end. Saw a little tippy-toeing going on back there, which is an indication of the frozen field that you mentioned, Kurt, but they really couldn't cover them really close. That obviously is going to be a factor, I think, all day because they are, looks like they've marked the ball a little bit short of the first down, too. Yeah, but they're going to be sure and measure. They had man-to-man -man coverage there, D-Row. I don't know what they were doing. It's in a kind of a prevent defense. The four linebackers really are in there because they've had injuries to the defensive line, and these, they also have outstanding linebackers. We saw that play by Villapiano a while ago, and I think he's, in my opinion, he's very comparable to a Andy Russell for the Pittsburgh Steelers and yep. that they're very mobile they're not terribly big linebackers here's an interesting thing now last week the Pittsburgh Steelers against the Baltimore Colts in a fourth and short situation went for it which was to me an indication of the obviousness of their great defensive team but it looks like today they're punished right, their defensive it's fourth team down is, and a foot it's not as obvious today no yeah. Neil Colsey Back to receive Bobby Walden's punt. The veteran Walden has averaged 39 yards a punt this year. In this cold weather, we have these frozen hands today. They'll have to be sure of ball handlers. The kick is going to bounce. They're going to let it go. It's got a Steeler hop on it, and it's dead on the 21-yard line of Oakland. So the Raiders will take over. Telecast presented by authority of the National Football League for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Steelers and the National Football League prohibited. There's your backfield. Stabler, Davis, injured most of the year, and Hubbard, also injured most of the year, 44, starting running back. Mike Ciani is starting it in. He's going to the left, 49, and Branch is in the slot. Joe 
Green is starting this game. He's been out with a pitch curve in his neck. Slipping and falling down to the 21-yard line is Clarence Davis. Joe Green, who has had a pull grind, but mostly a pinch curve in his neck. He's missed five of the last six games. He started against the Rams. He was ineffective. He should be an inspirational factor. Now, one thing that you find out when you play the Pittsburgh Steelers, if you cannot run straight at them and do that with any effectiveness, you're going to have a very difficult time. The teams that beat them have been able to beat them straight ahead. Second down, 10. Protection, crossing pattern to Bob Moore, the tight end. He has it on his 24, 25 yard line, hit by Andy Russell. And how about a team putting three of its linebackers in the Pro Bowl game? All of them, Jack Ham, Lambert, and Russell, go to the Pro Bowl game. We're going to be seeing this again most of this afternoon. And that is double teaming on Joe Green. That means one of those ends, Don, are going to have some free wheeling as they're getting to that pass. They spread Siani right and branch to the left. Third down. Five to go. Great protection again. Siani catches that ball for a first down. He went down and cut in. He has been tough against the Steelers. He was injured last year, had a hamstring uh, muscle operation, but he's always been good against Pittsburgh. I think you're going to see, well, Stater's going to go back. The footing is really not as good as I thought it was. You'll see he's kind of gingerly going back there, but on this pass pattern, Siani really just kind of, again, tippy-toed into the middle there, but they, they can't really make a good, strong defensive move to cover him. So that's going to be a real big factor, and I think it will be the plus for the offense. First down, Raiders on their 45. Marv Hubbard crunching out to the 49 of Oakland. He was met there by 58, Lambert, 63, Fat Holmes, and the right cornerback, Mel Blunt. Up front is Greenwood, 68. Joe Green, 75. Ernie Holmes, 63. Dwight White, 78. A half a ton of fury. The best front four in football, everybody believes. Three great linebackers in back of them we told you about. J.T. Thomas, left corner. Mel Blunt, right corner. Mike Wagner and Glenn Edwards at the safety back. Second down, six for Oakland. Davis outside to the 50. And it's to the Pittsburgh 45-yard line before he's driven out.